hello everyone today i am going to show you guys about how you can apply the wood material in revit in a correct way as you can see in this image on the right side that the vanity has the horizontal wood grains only which is not correct on the left vanity design you can see there are vertical and horizontal grains combined to give a more realistic approach it is not compulsory that you use this method but in order to have a more realistic render for your 3d drawings you can apply the material of wood by using this method but before we start the tutorial let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime so now let's start this is the vanity design i have created in the previous video the link is given below in the description box now i am going to select all the extrusions I use control button on keyboard to have multiple selection and then here click on this button and create a new material parameter with the name wood horizontal terrain Now open this parameters dialog box and create an other new material parameter with the name wood vertical grain. Change the type of parameter to material and then click OK. Now open this material browser dialog box and here I am going to select the wood of mahogany. Load it and select this then go to the appearance tab and you can see in this image that the grains are vertical so i'm going to rename this material as mahogany vertical grain then right click on this material and make a duplicate rename this uh, rename this material as mahogany horizontal grain then click on this duplicates this asset this is necessary because if you don't uh, duplicate this asset then the, all the changes which you create in the vertical in the horizontal grain will be also be uh, done in the vertical grain so now open this image of the horizontal grain material and add a 90 degree angle rotation angle to move it as a horizontal apply this uh, uh, step on all of the images which are used to create this material just change the rotation angle to 90 degrees so now we have a horizontal grain and the vertical grain of mahogany so two separate materials apply them like this Now go to front elevation, uh, make the graphic display as realistic and now you can see all of the wood is has horizontal grains and it does not look good, it does not look realistic. So now uh, okay, I have to apply the material to this sweep as well. So just name it wood horizontal grain, click OK. Now in the modify tab select this split face command then check this click on this and start splitting the face like this and one thing to remember that you cannot place this pink line on this orange line so uh, you have to place this pink line only in these openings so that this face can be split in this in the uh, following parts
after you have done this click ok and then select the paint command and from here select this mahogany vertical grain and apply the vertical grain to the parts where it should be like this so i'm going to apply this vertical grain on all of these vertical components as shown in the video now i am going to apply the split face command on this uh, door so select it and then split it like this uh, place two lines here again you cannot place the pink lines on the orange lines and place it like this and click ok again select the paint command and apply the mahogany vertical grain on these two panels now repeat this step for this other, other door as well And also apply this vertical sweep for this uh, vertical grain to, to this sweep, vertical components of this sweep. So in this manner you can keep on adding details to the families and the doors which are made of wood. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then. Goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe.